So we've looked at the book pages tab. Now let's go ahead and look at the student resources tab, which is a really awesome tool. For each section of each chapter, it has all of these different tools and opportunities. So let's look at the chapter overall. So here's chapter one, and here are the different resources of activities that encompass everything taught in chapter one. So for example, there's an interactive practice test where you can test yourself at the beginning or the end of it. And there's all of these questions which relate to everything in chapter one. So let's say you're deciding that you want to study for a test. You can go online and test yourself this way. There's also extra practice. So if you want to do some extra problems and have some guided help and see the answers, well, not see the answers, but go ahead and do some extra problems, you have that opportunity to do that here. There's also something called the Know It Notebook. Sometimes in class we'll use a PowerPoint and the PowerPoint goes along with the Know It Notebook and it's a way to take notes. It fills in, you have blanks and you fill in the blanks as you go along. So that's all there. Then you have Explorations in Core Math and this is talking about the different common core standards and what is being addressed. So you can have the assessment readiness so this can say you know are you ready to do chapter one, Are you? do you have the standards down, and it's another multiple choice test, and then there's other really cool options. There's a performance task, which is a critical thinking type task, which encompasses the entire chapter, and then you've got the problem solving, which is a multi-step critical thinking activity, which includes everything taught in the chapter as well. Then you also have other um, resources. You have the intervention and enrichment. So you have the are you ready to go on and um, looking at different skills if you would like to practice different skills. You also have a multilingual glossary, something called game time. And on game time it shows you different games that you can play that go with different activities. You also have other opportunities like the Math Tools tab, and that gives you a bunch of different online tools to help you visualize different math concepts. So you have things like fraction bars and integer chips, and all of these different things are manipulatives to help you visualize different things that we're learning. So that's really cool. You also have a chapter project and lab resources. But let's say that I want to look at a specific section. So let's go ahead. We've been looking at simplifying algebraic expressions. I'm going to click that tab, and there are specific resources just for this section. So there's a practice quiz for this section. There's a practice B worksheet. So you've got problems that you can practice. A lot of times this is what you'll get for homework. You have a problem solving page, which is word problems, if you want to take it further. You have the Know It Notebook page that goes especially with it. And then you have the Exploration and Core Math book, which is a more step-by-step -step process to help you see what's going on. Then you also have the Ready to Go On intervention. The coolest thing is you have homework help. So let's say you're at home and you're having issues with specific types of problems. You can click the homework help and you can see a video about those problems or you can get practice instructions to help you figure out step by step what to do. So that's pretty awesome as well. All of those things are available under the student resources tab for each section. So let's say that I decided I want to go to a different chapter. I'm going to go to chapter 4 and let's go to ooh, solving proportions. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click and I still have all of these same resources for each section. So no matter what section I'm on, I have the opportunity to access resources to help me further understand what's going on.